ERA supporters admitted that Judge Callister's decision did them no favors and vowed to continue their fight for the amendment's ratification. National Organization for Women President Ellie Smeal announced now would appeal Callister's decision to the Supreme Court. Smeal argued the lower court had no right to try and reverse a congressional decision extending ERA's ratification date. While ERA supporters said the court ruling came as no surprise, they attacked its timing. They've done everything they can to foil the advancement of the Equal Rights Amendment to the point now we believe that this timing of this decision, I mean, there, we're about to convene state legislatures all over the country. And essentially, you have a decision that's being handed down. By the time we can go through the appeal process, some of them will have adjourned for the last time in this extended period. ERA still needs three more states to make the amendment part of the Constitution by June 30th, and that's not including states that have rescinded their support. In an attempt to keep the fight for ERA going, 80 congressmen, led by Congressman Don Edwards, announced they will also join the legal battle to fight Judge Callister's decision. It is a direct confrontation with Congress over which branch of government has the ultimate decision-making power in this area. It ignores the sound legal authority that Congress based its decision on. While ERA supporters say they feel confident the Supreme Court will hear their case and breathe new life into ERA, amendment proponents are clearly aware they're under the gun. They need action immediately to still have a fighting chance. In Washington, Andrea Fleischer, Action News.